What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be talking about some features and add-ons that come on your truck from the factory that not a lot of people like or enjoy and I've either had in my comments saying to get rid of that or do this or that's so dumb. So I just want to talk about those items today but first I want to mention as you can probably tell I put a giant vinyl sticker on my back windshield with my channel's name and Instagram name. Why I did this? Well a company contacted me through Instagram and asked if I wanted to get a vinyl sticker made by them. I was like, sure, why not? And they made this up for me. I bought I bought one from them. And if you guys want to go check them out, here's their Instagram. And also, I will put a link to their website down below. They have some pretty cool stuff on there. But now, let's get into the video. Wow, difficult to get in there. Oh. Much better. Guys, I'm 6'3. If I have difficulty getting into my bed, I'm happy I have the tailgate stuff. It's not that dumb. Wow, look at that shiny wheel. And those shiny running boards. And that badge, and that badge, and that shiny door handle. Ooh, and this chrome grill. You can kind of see me in there. Not a lot of people like chrome, I've noticed. Any other person does not like chrome on their truck. Me, the truck came with it, so I kind of got stuck with it. Not a huge fan of chrome. I like black chrome, actually, because it's like a darker, but it still has a shine to it, so I still kind of like shine. I just don't like silver shine, you know? A lot of people tend to delete their running boards off their trucks, even when they're lifted 10 feet in the air. Uh, you know... I like my running boards because it lets me get inside of the truck without jumping and nicely getting into my interior without running my seat over with my butt a bunch of times and ruining my seat. So the running boards, I think, come in handy. Plus, they act as rock sliders. You have no idea how many times I've ran these running boards into something just on this truck alone and on my previous truck and on my dad's truck because I'd rather hit that than the body. Next thing, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm kind of parked on an incline so the truck looks leveled out, but I have the factory rake. A lot of people do not like the factory rake where the nose is down. I like it because guess what? I tow often, I haul often, which means when I put my trailer on or put a load in the bed of the truck, my truck levels itself out, so I don't have to buy a leveling kit. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the leveled out look because you can fit a little bit larger tires in the front and the backs, well, look at all that space. But I wouldn't level my truck out until I have an airbag system in the back because it is unsafe to tow with the back end lower than the front. And I know there's guys out there who love that Cali lean. Good for you, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, but otherwise, I, I tow often, I haul often. I don't want my truck squatting in the back and having my headlights pointed in somebody's windshield because I've had that happen to me and it sucks. So until I get an airbag system in the back, I ain't gonna level out my truck. Now, we're gonna go back to the stock wheels for a second here. I feel like most people nowadays, when they buy a brand new truck, the first thing they do is they take off their stock wheels and tires and they throw on a set of 33s or 35s, they level the dang thing out. Well, you see, I didn't put my money into the wheels and tires right away because I wanted to get tow mirrors, remote start, oil catch can, bed liner. So I put my money into that stuff, not the wheels. Plus, I don't know, the factory wheels, I'm, I'm okay with them. I don't care if they don't poke out or they're not wide enough or not big enough. They serve their purpose that I use them for and why spend the money if I don't have to. Maybe I'll get larger tires next set once these ones wear out but that's about all i would do now on to the other thing i still have this badge i have this badge that one's okay i have this badge i have that badge i have this sticker a lot of people like to delete these stickers like the 4x4 or fx4 or that especially the stx sticker a lot of people like to take off the stx sticker or they'll debadge the truck or they'll black out their badges Again, I kind of like the stickers, 
they look good on the truck in my opinion just my opinion i'm okay with the ecoboost badge but again the chrome maybe black chrome or like a graphite color just nothing that shiny but i'm okay with it i like the stickers and badges i'm totally cool with it all right guys so that's my list of things that a lot of people do not like on their trucks whether it's a dodge chevy ford nissan toyota whatever truck you drive there's a lot of things out there that people are going to tell you that looks dumb get rid of it do this don't do that but in the end it is your truck it is your vehicle you do what you want to do to it that's going to work best for you and your needs right now this truck how it's set up works best for my needs this is mainly about the stuff on my truck that not a whole lot of people like plus on other trucks like like I mentioned the chrome a lot of people don't like chrome but again I've noticed farmers like chrome so farmers if you're watching this let me know what it is about chrome is it just because of all the farm equipment doesn't have chrome it's usually covered in dust and you want to have your truck all nice and shiny even when it's dirty because my wheels are dirty and they still look shiny but guys let me know down below what are some things on your truck that others don't like about it whether you put it on or not or if it came from the factory or you bought it like that whatever it might be but otherwise guys this video is just for entertainment purposes don't take it so harshly if you are did get offended i am sorry but don't take it out on me i'm just saying what i've noticed in the truck community and what a lot of people don't like and comment on some of my videos but anyways guys that's the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and hit that like button if you didn't go ahead and hit the dislike button but as always if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to the channel i greatly appreciate it and i will catch you guys later bye